Hello everybody, I am Raw Toast, and welcome back to another episode of Heavy Rain. Last episode, we met our friend Manfred, and he was unfortunately killed while we, he was trying to help us get evidence on potentially who the origami killer is. Miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Shelter. Thursday, 11.15 a.m., 3.366 inches. We are on the next trial with Ethan, where we apparently have to kill somebody. Oh no. Shit. Is there a way- hopefully there's a way we can fake it. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. Oh. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. Oh. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. Oh. Seems I'm just, Oh. I think I've got to do it. Oh no. Oh. I don't think there's another way. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I said get out of here! You're gonna cost me trouble, and I don't like trouble. Fuck off! Hey! Take it easy, man, huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? Gosh, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Oh fuck. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, at least I won't feel bad about killing this dude anymore. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry, dude. We're gonna straight up kill you. We're gonna concentrate so hard so I don't miss anything. Oh my goodness. Come on, Ethan, just fucking blast him away. It, man, I give you whatever you want. Got dope? Got cash? You you want some dope? Please, please don't kill me, man. I got children. So do These I. These my girls, see. This one, Sarah, and a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Well, I'm a father too, but I'm no killer. Oh no. I think I fucked up real bad. I probably should have killed him so I can get the next clue to save Sean. That means I've missed two clues because I never actually got the one out of the glove compartment in the car in the... Oh no. 
Thursday, 1.32 p.m. 3.434 inches. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. I wonder who... I wonder why she was getting information about a doctor. But I imagine we'll find out pretty shortly. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. Oh. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Interesting, okay. I guess we'll see what the, this doctor has to say. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. No, 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 Hold no, no. on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. What? This guy's easily convinced. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No. Keep cool, level headed. No, headed. thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. This seems very suspect. Highly encouraging me to have a drink. Hmm. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Uh, vague? I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Medicine? Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. Was he asking if I was a hooker? <laughs> I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. This is a very awkward encounter. You're not drinking? No. <gasps> no, no! Sure I am. I... Shit. I thought Having two was no. Fun. Didn't your mother ever Fuck. warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? <laughs> that was an accident, god damn it. Oh shit. Oh. Ah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. 
Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. Mm -hmm. Come on, we gotta escape, we gotta escape. To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. Is there anything we can use? Is there anything we can do? But enough with the chit chat. Oh no, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I oh crap, oh crap. surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Oh fuck, he's gonna cut me up! Hold on. This might sting him. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, can I kick him? Can I do anything? Oh fuck, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 please, no, please, no. Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. Oh, thank God. I won't be long. Okay, time to get the fuck out of here, Madison. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Okay, that didn't work. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit. Hello, sir. I've come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks. Wait. Wait. I'm trying to get the damn leg one. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, yes, there we go. humble flock, should walk in his steps, for St. John has said. Uh, thanks a lot, but I don't need anything. Come on. Yes, there. Good, good, good. You do not need a Bible in these times of violence and hatred. Holy Scripture will bring you peace and tranquility any time. Yes, yes, yes. Legs are free. All from you, five dollars. Three dollars. No Bible for Come on, come on, come on. Shit, shit, shit. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're almost done. Oh, thank God, we're out, we're out, we're out. Alright, we're gonna fucking smash his face in. Alright, we're gonna fuck you up, you loony bit doctor, motherfucker. Ooh. Oh, yes. God, Madison, fuck him up. Oh, shit. Oh, what? No. How did I miss that? Yes, got him in the leg. Come on, grab him, grab him. Yes, thank you. Oh, that was a close one. Oh yes, the crutch! Finally, someone did it! Oh yeah! Fuck him up! Ooh. How can you physically be standing after all that? Oh, shit, missed it! No, I, I'm, I'm. Oh my god, stop fucking registering my damn inputs again. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes! Oh. I thought I fucked up and she died because it wasn't registering my inputs again on the mouse. Oh my jeez. Fucking hell.
Blue Lagoon Club. Yeah, he, yeah, he mentioned he rented out that apartment on um, uh, whatever street that was to his friend from Parker who would take girls from the Blue Lagoon Club there. Okay, so we have another lead. Thursday, 2.18 p.m., 3.502 inches. Access prohibited. Where are we? Right, uh, junkyard, okay. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Wow. Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. Alright, we'll have to do some of our own little investigating here. Oh, wait, what was that? Is that blood or something? Blood? Yeah. Now why is there blood here? It looks like a fair bit too, to be honest. Like, that doesn't look like a little... Ooh, more. Okay. Yeah, let's check every bit. The blood tracks lead... to the acid bath. Well, shit. That's not good. Do we know who it is? No. Okay. What was that? Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. Well, so that's his work table, so you can't blame him for that specifically. Or necessarily, anyway. Ooh, more. Oh, okay. Well, we have lots of stuff going on here. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Did it gesture me to the table again? I don't know. Let's, have, let's just keep looking around. Get as much evidence as we can. Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. Hmm, okay. Wait, what's this? Harry, comment. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Interesting, okay. We are finding a lot of stuff here. Holy shit. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? We're definitely making progress at the very least. What's he thinking? Is there anything else? I think we've checked everything so far. Let's make sure we get all the way down. Yep, okay. Oh my god, they could. These controls are just. I know I keep saying it, I, I sound like a broken record because I keep saying it, but they're just 
absolutely irritating. Wait, so what was that? Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it. Killer's car was here. Oh, they resprayed it. There we go, there's more. Alright, well, it's obvious his fingerprints are going to be here anyway, because he works here. It's probably his workshop. So, that's not exactly evidence. It's just evidence that he used those tools, which are probably his own tools. Anything over here? Yes, something over there. Nice. I was going to go around the next anyway. What is this? I'm not sure why it's pointing at his fingerprints to me. We, we know very well that he's here. We just spoke to him with that. Okay, we should have a look at the acid bath. Wherever that is. Well, wait a second. That's a new one. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack's size. Oh, big boy. Okay, let's try and head outside to go to the acid bath. Oh, another thing. Nothing? You didn't want to say anything about that? Anything in here? If I could... Yep. Oh my... Let me look at that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, it's still, still the same dude, still Mad Jack. Merry Christmas. Okay. So potentially, uh, all my Jackie boy is staying here. Well, probably, it looks like it anyway. Whoa, jeez, okay. So much stuff to investigate here. this he doesn't say anything not for the a right while. car either oh, there we go what is it did I check this one I believe I did okay okay what is going to be in here a skull. Oh no. <laughs> One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Oh my god, I don't give a fuck about you. I'm trying to catch a serial killer. Oh my shit. God, Norman, we're gonna mess this guy up like the last one. This guy is not fucking around. Go on, Norman, you got this. Punch him quick! Good enough. Go get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. 
Go fuck yourself in the ass. Wow. Uh, impressed. What was that? Damn! You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Enough. I'm trying <laughs> to remember some things. That was easy. You be cool. Uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash. And I ain't the question in kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Oh, no. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Oh no. Come on, come on. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Turn around. Damn, oh, we took the drug. I guess we, we had to. If we didn't, we would have died. Like 100% this dude would have killed us. Thursday, 4.30 p.m., 3.672 inches. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And that does make sense. you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm I no sure chef. sure do. But I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, let's make some eggs. I love scrambled eggs. What is that sandwich just like sitting on the, like on the shelf? No wrapping, no plate. That thing must be so dry. <laughs> Man, where's the milk? Where's the butter? The oil? The spatula? Anything? I see. We're gonna add these ingredients via telepath uh, telepathically. Aha! The future of cooking. Which make these old eggs. Yeah, but we gotta scramble these eggs. Come on now. So I feel like we're getting very, we're starting to get very, very close to finding out who the origami killer is. I think we're gonna know soon, and my goodness, I, I hope I can save Sean, and I hope none of my characters die. That is, that's what I'm hoping for. Whether that happens or not is gonna be completely different. Is it gonna give me some sort of prompt when they're ready? I'll take it as a yes. should be ready by now. Sweet. Lauren, baby, I got your eggs. That's an omelette, not scrambled eggs. Like, that's, that's basically an omelette. So, 
until everyone, this is where I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for joining me in another episode of Heavy Rain. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please, have a lovely day.